Hi, this is attorney Jamie Miller from Miller Miller, and I'm going to talk to you for a moment about what to do next. You filed your bankruptcy and now what should you expect? So whether you filed a chapter seven or whether you filed a chapter 13, our office has obtained an automatic stay for you. An automatic stay is a bankruptcy term that means injunction. So it's an injunction that prevents your creditors from bothering you. So congratulations that your case is filed and also congratulations that you won't hear from your creditors anymore. If you continue to hear from your creditors after your bankruptcy is filed, you need to reach out to us. If your creditors continue to bother you, they are violating the bankruptcy stay and we need to go to the bankruptcy court and let the court know so that the court can enforce the bankruptcy stay and prevent those creditors from bothering you. So it's always important that you communicate with us. But once your case is filed, we get this injunction to prevent the creditors from bothering you. And then 30 days after that, we're going to go to court. We're gonna to go to court with you now because of COVID, uh, court is over the phone or Zoom and we'll prepare you for court. We'll talk to you a day or two before your court date and make sure that you understand what's going to happen at court and what questions you're going to be asked. But we'll go to court, we'll get your court, we'll get your case approved. You're gonna meet with a trustee at court. The trustee is an assistant to the court, essentially. Um, they're gonna review your paperwork, make sure all the information is accurate and correct, and that is exactly why before we filed your case that we asked you for so much information. So when we file your petition with the court and when we go to court 30 days after we file, we wanna make sure that the trustee has all the information that they need so your court date goes really smoothly. When you're in court, they're gonna ask you questions. Is everything in your bankruptcy petition accurate and correct? Are there any changes that need to be made to your petition? They're gonna ask you if you've read the bankruptcy information sheet, which is the summary of the bankruptcy process that we gave you when your case was filed. So we file with the court, 30 days after that, we go to court to get it approved. And when we file the court, remember the sanctity of the automatic stay. Once we file your case, your creditors can't bother you. If your creditors continue to bother you, make sure you reach out to us, it's really important. And then we go to court 30 days after to get it approved. If you're in a chapter seven, then your case will be discharged 60 days after your court date. Don't forget, you have to do your second course of credit counseling after we file your case. So you do your credit counseling before we file, you do your credit counseling after we file, you'll have about 90 days to do that second course. So go to court 30 days after, then 60 days after we go to court, you're gonna get your case discharged. The whole process takes 90 days. It's the date that we file it that's the important date, um, but you're gonna be in the bankruptcy for about 90 days. And don't forget to do that second credit counseling, really important because we can't get that discharge until you do the second credit counseling. And that's for a chapter seven. Chapter 13 is a little different. Going to court, I mean, filing your case, getting that automatic stay, same as a chapter seven. Going to court to get it approved is the same thing. But remember, when you're in a chapter 13, you're going to be in that 13 in that repayment plan for three to five years. And we're gonna send you lots of information after your case is filed and um, telling you what you need to do um, after your chapter 13 is approved and what you'll need to do in the years that follow, follow the filing of your case, that three to five year period, you know, what taxes you need to get to us, how to set up the payroll deduction, how to keep making the payments to the trustee. So if you have any questions, we have an amazing chapter 13 department that's going to walk you through the process. And you can always contact anyone at the office and we'll be here to, to help you.